Been released from the spool. Balloon has been released from the spool. Check out one eight three. Balloon is launched. Balloon is launched. Balloon launch. Balloon launch. Launch time one eight colon four zero colon five two. Well, the test actually looked fantastic. It did all the things we expected it to do. The rocket motor fired. It went off on the trajectory. It spun up, spun down perfectly. It deployed the SIAD, deployed the balut, which pulled out the parachutes. So everything happened that we wanted to have happen. We got telemetry the entire time. We got the data coming down. We're very anxious to get the data that's stored on the vehicle, and so we have recovery ships out right now trying to, trying to go out and get that data and bring it back. We want to see exactly what happened. What we actually saw was a, was a good a good deployment of the SIAD. We saw the parachute get pulled out, but then in the video that we're able to see, which isn't very high resolution, we see that there was some kind of problem with the parachute. And so the parachute didn't fully deploy or something happened to it in the process of deployment. And it still was out there and still actually did provide some drag. And so in fact, it helped slow the vehicle down when it came down in the water. So we're hoping for a, for a good recovery. Uh, but we really want to get that data back to find out what happened. We're now going to be taking the data that we got and analyzing it to see if the vehicle performed the way that we expected, if it flew the right way, if it collected the data properly. We think we got all the data that we wanted, but we have to look at detail exactly what happened, see if there's anything different from what we expected, use that information and feed it into the next couple of flights. Next summer, in June through August, we're going to have two more of these flights, and this flight was, it was very important to have this flight now to uncover what the issues are, and that's why we scheduled it this way. So we had a full year before the next flight to be able to react to it, respond, come up with changes to the design, and learn from what happened on this flight so we can apply it to the two flights that we have next summer.
my expectation is that, that we learn something about how this system that we've, we've built, that we've designed, that we've spent several years working on, and that the phenomenal team of engineers that we have across NASA and JPL has assembled, uh, that we would learn how this thing behaves. And I think we've learned an awful lot today, and we're going to be studying this data for, for days, weeks, and months to come uh, as we get ready to do two more of these tests next summer. We're going to dive deeply into all the data we have uh, and really try to understand all the nuances. You know, what we saw today was phenomenal, uh, but until we start looking at some of the numbers, you never really know how phenomenal it was. Man, I've just gone through every range of emotion I could think of today in the span of a few hours. It's, uh, it's an intense moment. Uh, but. You know, all in all, it's just, it's really exciting. It's pretty dang cool what we did.